dislocation in our society, ripping apart America, all because we won't spend hundreds of millions and perhaps a few billion making life in Central America more tolerable. We have seen a dramatic decline in illegal immigration from Mexico because things are better in Mexico than they were 20 years ago. It shouldn't be beyond our, uh, our capacity uh, to achieve a similar life for the people of Northern uh, Central America. As to your budget, we in Congress will ultimately determine that. It would be good to have the Trump administration on our side, but we will be doing everything possible to give you a, a budget that we will count upon you to spend according to law. Um, I have so many uh, questions. I'll start with, uh, uh, since uh, fiscal 1998, our assistance program for the Republic of Artsakh, formerly known as the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh, has uh, supported life-giving maternal health, uh, provided clean drinking water, cleared mines, uh, and of course the HALO Trust, uh, which is leading demining efforts, reports uh, that it has completed about 88 percent of the mission but needs American support. Um, uh, is USAID uh, committed to completing the clearance of landmines and unexploded ordinances uh, within the uh, uh, traditional boundaries of the Republic of Artsakh? Uh, yes, in fact, I just received something. We actually expect to complete this work in, uh, I think it's calendar year 2020. So uh, absolutely, and, and thanks for bringing it forward. Thank you. I had a follow-up question, but I think your answer to that question was so good, I'm going to move on. Um, let's talk about Pakistan for a second. Uh, uh, USAID has played an important role in Pakistan, uh, particularly with its education system. Uh, are there ways for American charitable organizations can partner with USAID uh, to support that work? Uh, as you know, uh, we're undergoing, we being the, the administration, is undergoing a review of our assistance in Pakistan that we hope will be finalized uh, soon. And uh, we'll then report to you in terms of what uh, will be going forward. In spite of our aid to Pakistan, conditions in the Sindh province uh, uh, of South Pakistan continue to deteriorate in many areas. Schools and hospitals are getting worse in many areas, as is water availability. And of course, we see the Hindu my, uh, minorities subject to persecution, uh, to forced conversions and forced marriages. Uh, what is USAID doing uh, to ensure that assistance to Pakistan is improving uh, the lives of ordinary people in Sindh? As with all of our programs, we have the program metrics that we use. One thing we're trying to do more of is to shift from outputs to outcomes. So we have our roadmap with 17 objective metrics that help us measure capacity and commitment in each country where we work or want to work, like Pakistan. So more and more, we're trying to make sure that we're able to make a difference on the outcome side hastening the capacity of our host country partners to take on these challenges themselves. I, I, Although I, I thank you for that, and I hope daunting. that in when you focus on Pakistan, you'll focus on the women and children, and especially the minority religions uh, in Sindh. As to Sri Lanka, uh, perhaps for the record, you could provide me with a uh, progress report on U.S. Uh, assistance to Sri Lanka, uh, particularly in the former war zones and uh, let me know what USAID uh, is planning to do to help that country uh, recover from its ethnic conflict. Um, can, can I count on you for that written report? Yes, absolutely. I believe my time has expired.